hello friends in this video i'm going to explain about how to create multiple activities and how will you move from one activity to another or how will you move from one screen to another so i'm going to start a new project i'm naming it as multi demo some name you may give next minimum is pk ap18 and md activity and name some name for the activity and we can see that the layout name finish This our project is getting loaded and in the resource folder you can see the layout under layout we can see our activity main to XML. so now here I have A text to view and just delete it so here this is going to be a very simple demo where I'm going to keep one button here and when I click this button we are moving from this activity to another activity so, this small button dragging and dropping it and I'm going to change the text next and ID I'm not going to change it that it will be like this now in the main activity so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find that button whose label is next for that I have a method we have the standard method from b by id r dot id dot that id name is button and this i am going to store it in a reference variable of type button and do the necessary type type cast because the find b by id it returns an object of type view where view is the super class for button so without explicit type cast it cannot be assigned to a variable of type but and now register the button for event handle so here what we are going to do is when we click the button we should move from the current window to the next window so now i am going to register the button for event handle for that button dot set on click listener new on click listener so here we have to cut the first term first the first thing we have to do is create an indent object indent is a messaging object and this can be used to start anything to start a service to start a new activity anything we need in that so in then this is a standard class in android in that. Okay. so once the indent object is ready we can call the method start activity and pass the indent object as an argument to here now we have to give some information to the indent object because we need to inform the indent object that what is our new activity which should be open when I click this button and one more thing is we need to pass the context for that get application context and keep it in separate lines so that it will be easy to follow to information 
the first one is pass the context it can be an activity context or application context the second argument that is we have to pass the name of the activity so what is the next activity now in our project we have only one activity that is main activity so we have to mention that what is the next activity so before going to continue this code i am going to create a new activity for that just right click new activity and another activity again it is going to be in the activity some name we will say that well, welcome and for that the layout, uh, layout also will be generated so this is the second layout right now the second layout is only so when we move to the second layout we will display message uh, say welcome to the second activity for that i am putting a text view and here i am going to change the content from new text to welcome to second activity this is the main activity sectional file and this is the second activity sectional file this is the design also you can see that for the second activity there is a activity java file you can see welcome to java file now this we need to specify in the main activity dot java the second argument what is the name of that activity the name of the activity is welcome don't stop by typing welcome here it should be suffixed by dot plus because dynamically this class should be loaded so we have to give that this welcome dot plus so the second argument is about the name of the activity class name of the activity class then start the activity that's all about the code and before going to run the project i want to show you one thing here we have the folder called the manifest in the folder manifest we can say file called android manifest.xml file and here you can see this is the first activity and this is the second activity so the all the activities information will be available here and here you can see that the first activity name it starts with dot main activity the second any activities name it should start with dot then the activity name and here you can see that we have an indent filter so the indent filter here we have two things one is the action and other one is category this action we have a value called android dot indent dot action dot main this shows that your activity that is the main activity is the entry of this application this should be the first activity when you run the program and here and it should be launched in this main activity now i am going back to the main activity and now i am going to run so here i have my mobile is connected here this is my mobile so let me unlock it it's a few seconds to get proper visualization so send it Okay. Yeah.
you can see that the gradle build is running it's indexing then installing the apk so this is my first activity when i click the button next you can see that the second activity is coming up. and coming back to the first activity like this again clicking next so this is how to create multiple activities and how to move from one activity to the another in the next video i will be explaining about how to carry forward the data from one activity to the another activity thank you for watching this